Hey lovelies, it's Cinnamon McCann with the Stiletto series and wanted to show you how you can include your book into Amazon Search Inside the Book feature. And um, I have a book that doesn't have that feature yet, so I figured this would be an awesome time to do a tutorial, right? Alright, so let me just go ahead and cue some things up. I did do some of the procedure already, but I'll still walk you through the whole process. So in case you're wondering what the Search Inside feature is, let me show you that really quickly. This is one of my books, um, Self-Publishing in Stilettos. And of course you see here, it says click to look inside. This is what you want. And if you have a book, having this is very important because if people are kind of shopping in cyberspace and they don't know you, they want to see what you're about before they actually purchase the book. And this feature really, really, really helps. Okay. So let me show you exactly how to do that. Now, as you can see, this is the book that's actually that I'm getting ready to do it for. This is my next book that's coming out, You Made a Mom Entrepreneur Edition. Um, shameless plug. As you can see, there is no image here. So I'm going to click on this just so I can uh, go ahead and copy and paste the ISBN number real quick um, just to make it easier. If you know your ISBN numbers and you have it handy, you can totally avoid this step. But for me, I don't feel like it. So this is what I'm going to do. Um, so again, this is You Made It, Mom Entrepreneur Edition. And as you can see, the book isn't available until um, September 17th. And so here's a pre-order button. And many authors have kind of sent me emails asking me, how do you pre-order on Amazon? And I will do another tutorial on that. So let's stay focused on this one. So here we have the ISBN number. And I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And then we are going to go over to where your file is, okay? So wherever you're storing your internal and external book files, this is where you need to go. So I did a lot of this already, but basically, as you can see, here's my ISBN number and cover. Why? Because pretty much this is the cover. Um, and you can see a preview version of that. So here's the back cover, the front cover, and of course the spine. Now in the interior section, you are again going to put your ISBN, ISBN number and then put interior. Why? Because this is the interior of your book. Then you're going to take these two files and you're going to zip them because the Amazon service will only allow you to take one file or upload one file. And zipping isn't hard. All you're going to do is go to send to. You're going to compress this into a zip folder and you're going to do that. I'm not clicking it because my folders are already here. Ta-da! Okay, so now after you have your file all zipped and secured and looking great, you're going to go to sellercentral.amazon.com. That's important. You can't just go to amazon.com and think you can come upload and stuff. This is where you come as a publisher to put your files, okay? So, of course, I'm already there. And you're going to come here to PDF and cover upload. You are simply going to browse, find your file, and upload the zip file here. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. But after you do it, let me show you something really quickly. You're going to get a um, notification that looks like this. I just did a, a screenshot of this and so I can save the JPEG. So basically, this is what it's going to look like after you upload your file. It's going to say PDF upload complete. Here's the bytes, here's the submission, and you want to keep this information in case you have any problems, any issues. Like I said, again, I just do a print screen, and I put it in paint, and I save it, and then I just keep it with all my files. So if I do have any problems, and Amazon is saying, well, we don't know what you're talking about, we didn't get your file. Not that that's happened to me yet, but if it does, um, you want to have something to show this is your submission ID. So print screen, or however you want to take a picture of it and keep this, save it with your book submission files, okay? So that's basically it. It's a really cut and dry type of process. If you've uploaded any type of file, then this shouldn't be hard for you. But it's really, really important. Again, I'm not sure if POD companies do this for you, but if you have your own publishing company like I do, you're responsible for doing the Search Inside book feature, and you really, really, really want to do that. So I think that's it. If you have any questions, you know where to find me, and you can leave any comments and also questions at the bottom. Um, and I think that's it. So it's been real, and I'll see you guys again next time.